In this video, we are going to dive deeper into understanding perpendicular lines dealing with transversals. The perpendicular transversal theorem, in our series this is going to be theorem 13, if a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it is perpendicular to the other. So that's saying if you have two parallel lines, x and y, and you have some line z that is perpendicular to x, well then z must also be perpendicular to y. And we're going to prove that with a two column formal proof. So to start, our first step is to list our given. x is parallel to y and z is perpendicular to x. And that's what's given in the first part of our theorem. And I'll give you a hint at how we're going to go about this. We're going to eventually use the corresponding angles postulate. So let's go ahead and name this angle A and this angle B. Those are corresponding angles. And we know since Z is perpendicular to X, then this angle A is a right angle. And that's because of the definition of a perpendicular line. Remember, this is the symbol for perpendicular. And if A is a right angle, we know that the measure of angle A is 90 degrees. And that's because of the definition of a right angle. Now this is where we're going to use the corresponding angles postulate to say that angle A is congruent to angle B. And if we have that two angles are congruent, then we know that the measure of those two angles are equivalent. And that's by the definition of congruent angles. Now we can use substitution and substitute 90 degrees in for the measure of angle A. So we're going to get that the measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees. And by the definition of a right angle, we can say that angle B is a right angle, since it was equal to 90 degrees. And finally, our last step, 8. Now our last step is to say that line Z is perpendicular to line Y. And that's by the definition of parallel lines. Now we have proven what we wanted to prove that if a line is perpendicular to one of two parallel lines, then it is perpendicular to the other line. Next, we're going to go over the parallel slope postulate and the perpendicular slope postulate. So P15, the parallel slope postulate, says that two non-vertical lines have the same slope if and only if they are parallel. IFF stands for if and only if. So that means we can say this postulate in two ways. If two non-vertical lines have the same slope, then they are parallel. Or we can say if two non-vertical lines are parallel, then they have the same slope. In my pre-algebra and algebra series, I talked all about finding if slopes are parallel and graphing parallel slopes. And I'll put a link to this video so that you can go back if you need a review on what a slope is, and also how to write an equation dealing with slope. And also keep an eye out for the link in the description box. Perpendicular slope postulate, P16, says Two non-vertical lines are perpendicular if and only if the product of their slope is negative 1. So that's saying if two non-vertical lines are perpendicular, 
then the product of their slope is negative 1. Or, if two non-vertical lines have slopes where their product is negative 1, then the lines are perpendicular. And remember, if you re need a review on slopes and how to write equations using slopes, please view the pre-algebra and algebra videos that I have already posted. The last theorem I'm going over in this video is the second perpendicular transversal theorem, in our case T14. Now I named this the second perpendicular transversal theorem because it's not exactly the converse to the first perpendicular transversal theorem that we went over earlier in this video because the hypothesis and the conclusions are different, but it deals with the same aspects of the lines. So if two lines are perpendicular to the same transversal, then they are parallel. So if I have a line and another line, and I have a transversal that is perpendicular to both of those, then that means my lines, let's name them x and y, are parallel. So if some transversal z is perpendicular to x and it's also perpendicular to y, then my lines x and y are parallel. And that's another, or the second, perpendicular transversal theorem, T14.